The new subvariant of Omicron is known as BA.2. Preliminary research from Denmark shows it appears to be more infectious than the original BA.1. Dr. David Agus is a CBS News medical contributor. And what we're seeing is, is that countries like Denmark, which are weeks ahead of the United States in dealing with Omicron as a whole, you're seeing a significant rise in BA.2. BA.2 has been detected in dozens of countries and several U.S. states, including Texas and California. The data are still very early, but it may not not produce quite a severe disease. BA.2 has not been designated a variant of concern by the World Health Organization like the original Omicron variant that began spreading before the holidays or the Delta variant that drove summer and fall surges. We would be concerned about a variant. One, it's even more contagious than the ones we have. Number two, it's capable of producing more severe disease. And number three, could it evade the protection of our current vaccines and the natural immunity some people have gotten? While there is more to learn about BA.2, public health experts emphasize getting vaccinated is critical to protect against severe disease. Dr. Agus says he expects the U.S. will be in a better situation with the virus by spring. This new variant will slow the decline in that curve. But if you've been exposed to BA.1, the first Omicron, if you will, um, that you will have immunity, hopefully that will cross over to BA.2. Doctors say continuing to wear masks and social distancing are important precautions for reducing the spread. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York.